So that was the main theme of Down to the Praying Ground by Kelly Joe Phelps. But in standard tuning, with a capo on the third fret, so we're playing in G. As the original, but the original is in open G tuning and with a plate with a slide. And please do open the video description below. There you can find links to the original performance, um, to my lesson on that performance, and how to get the tap free of charge for this lesson. The main, um, let's say, purpose of this lesson is to learn how to do a percussive slap and sounding a note at the same time. So, I'm in standard tuning, capo on the third fret, and these were my A strings. And I will refer, of course, uh, as the capo is a zero fret, so this is the first, second fret, third fret, and so on. All right, let's play the introduction very slowly, and the introduction is played very freely, so you can... No, sorry. Starting at the fourth string, second fret, pull off the first um, from the fifth to the second fret and sliding it through a partial G chord. Then again to the seventh fret, sixth string, the seventh fret, fourth string, and the third string six frets and then now with my second finger I'm gonna play the second string second fret and bend it and I use my two fingers to do that bend because a bend at that position can be difficult and I played it all with the thumb this the following uh, two bars the fourth string. You see I'm using my index finger as a bar there. And now I'm going to place the bar. And to the fifth fret. starting with the team. I'll play the bar 6 and 7 of the team. So that first beat is muted. And then I'm slapping with my whole hand, mainly with the temp on the strings. So again that bar. Then bar 7. And in the second beat, this is the first beat, fourth strings, uh, fourth fret, I'm slapping down. Followed by a bar. And when I slap down, I use my, mainly my index finger, but my second finger, my middle finger, is held close to it. And I'm trying to hit the middle strings. And if you hit a string like the, the, the second string, for example, it doesn't matter because right after that I'm going to place the bar that will mute those strings we've hit before and play the third string second fret. And with my palm here, I'm hitting while I'm hitting. You see, I'm, the bass strings are muted by this part of my hand when I go down. seven one more time and 
bar 3 stamp index and with the middle I'm playing the second fret second string bend it up so bar 6 and 7 one more time and we're gonna let that ring that bend into the next beat so bars 8 and 9 we have that bent with our second finger and I'm going to use my index to mute the strings because on the second beat of the eighth bar we're going to, we're going to hit it down and that last beat trying to hit only the 4th string 4th fret and I'm down with the nails and then with the index the last note of the 8th bar so one more time slide to the 7th fret slide, middle finger picks the second open string, hammer on, fourth fret, fifth string, index and thumb pull off on the fourth string, fifth to two. So let's get at the whole thing so far. And then it's a repeat of the 6th and the 7th uh, measure with one difference. So here's the 10th and the 11th measure. In the last note, we with my middle finger, I bent the 1st string 3rd fret. And here I'm muting strings 4, 3 and 2 and leave the first string open. Well, just a sixth string, third fret for a G chord. Hit and again. And then we're playing bar four again. And pull off on the fourth string, second fret. And then I had a little fantasy, it's not in the tab. Seven, five, seven, nine. There you have it, down to the praying rounds, Kelly Joe Phelps.